No exercise 2b. Question number 1 is the sum of two numbers is 52 and their difference is 2. Then the numbers are and these are four options given to us. See in this particular question when we see it from the options option A is 17 and 15. Of course their difference is 2 but the sum is not 52. 17 plus 15 is not 52. So our option A is wrong. Option B is 12 and 10. Of course their sum is not 52 and hence this option is also wrong. Option C is 27 and 25. So their sum is 52. 27 minus 25 their difference is 2 and hence this option is correct. So when we see it from the options we can clearly find that option C is correct. Now we will see it from subjective point of view supposing that these options are not given and when how can we find those numbers whose sum is 52 and the difference is 2. For that purpose we are to make the equations. Now how we will frame the equations? Sum of two numbers is 52. So if one number is x then another number will be 52 minus x. First number we take as x, another number will be 52 minus x because their sum is 52. Now it is given that their difference is 2. So when we subtract these two numbers that is x minus 52 minus x this is the subtraction of these two numbers and this becomes 2 as per the given condition of the equation. This gives us x minus 52 plus x equals to 2. This implies 2x equal to 54 because 52 when goes on right hand side will be of plus sign. 2 plus 52 is 54. Therefore x equals to 54 upon 2 which is 27. So when x is 27 Another number is 52 minus 27 which is equals to 25 and hence our two numbers are 27 and 25. Therefore our option C is correct. But it is better generally that for such questions we should try those from the options. Now we will see the next problem. Next question is the diagonal of a rectangle is 5 cm and one of the sides is 4 cm. Its area is option A 20 square cm, option B is 12 square cm, C is 10 square cm, D is none of these. Now let us make a rectangle. Rectangle is that quadrilateral whose opposite sides are equal. This is the diagonal. This is given as 5 cm. Diagonal is this. It is given that it is 5 cm. One of the sides is 4 cm. We take this side as 4 cm. Now we know that this angle in rectangle is 90 degree. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem. We can apply Pythagoras theorem. Now what that theorem states that in a right angle triangle this is the base if it is A this is the perpendicular this is B and this is the hypotenuse it is C then A square plus B square equals to C square. That is base square plus perpendicular square. Their sum is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Now applying this theorem here, 5 square should be equal to 4 square plus let us say this is of x centimeter. So this is x square. This gives us 25 equals to 16 plus x square. This gives us x square equals to 
25 minus 16 which is 9 and hence x equals to 3 centimeter. The another side, the side which is not given of the rectangle is x which is we have obtained 3 centimeter. Now this is 3 centimeter, this is 4 centimeter, two sides are known. So area of the rectangle will be 3 into 4 because length into breadth is the area of the rectangle. This equals to 12 square centimeter. This equals to 12 square centimeter and hence our option B here is correct. The area of the, area of the rectangle is 12 cent, square centimeter. Question number 3 is divide 56 into 2 parts such that 3 times of the first part exceeds 1 third of the second by 48. Then the parts are options are A option is 20, 36, B is 25, 31, C is 24, 32 and D is none of these. We will first try this questions. We will first try this question by taking the options. One by one we will be taking the option. Option A is 20, 36. That is one part is 20, another part is 36. So let us understand that the sum of these two parts should be 56 because we are to divide 56 into two parts. So their sum is 20 plus 36 is 56 which is okay. Here 25 plus 31 this also is 56. Here 24 plus 32 which is also 56. Now take the second condition of the given problem. 3 times of the first part exceeds 1 third of the second by 48. Now 3 times of the first part if we make it 3 times then 20 into 3 is 60. It is exceeding the 1 third of 36. Now 36 1 third when we divide 36 by 3 we get 12 and if I subtract 12 from 60, I get 48, which is correct. Which is correct, it exceeds 3 times of the first part, which is 60, 1 third of the second, which is 12, it exceeds 12 by 48 and hence our option A is correct. So, we need not try another options with the, by taking options if we solve this question our option A is correct. Now we will see it from the subjective point of view. See 56 is to be divided in two parts. So if one part is x then another part will be 56 minus x then only their sum will be 56. So first part we have taken as x second part is 56 minus x. Now apply the second condition and frame the equation. 3 times of the first part means 3x. Now it exceeds 1 third of the second. So 1 third of the second will be 56 minus x upon 3. And since it exceeds means 3x minus 56 minus x upon 3 should be equal to 48. It exceeds the one third of the second part by 48. This is our equation from which we will find the value of x. Now to solve this equation 3 is our LCM 9x minus 56 plus x equal to 48. This x will be of plus sign because minus is here. Solve it. So this gives us 10x minus 56 equal to 48 into 3. This equals to 144. So 10x equal to 144 plus 56 which is equal to 200. Therefore x equal to 200 upon 10 which is equal to 20. Value of x we have obtained.
obtained by framing the equation and x is continuous. So another part is 56 minus x. So it is 56 minus 20 which is equal to 36 and hence our option A is correct option.